My dad is kicking me out. I'm leaving a gift. His girlfriend is moving in in December from overseas and because my father is a liar, she falsely believes that my room was used by his ex and that she had since moved out the truth, is that they were sharing his bed until last week while I lived in the other room. And so, to keep up the ruse, he told me yesterday that I had two weeks to clear out my room, take my belongings and leave no trace of my existence behind in the apartment. His girlfriend is apparently a clean freak and my dad is desperate to make a good impression. Hence me getting kicked out. So right before I leave there's going to be an accidental spill of tuna juice on the living room rug and there will be honey and sugar in inconspicuous corners. I think the ants will love it. Hopefully the tuna juice will go bad and make the whole place slowly stink over the course of several weeks for no reason, and hopefully my dad will be embarrassed and miserable. Edit I am a broke college student. I pay for my studies myself. My dad was a cheating deadbeat growing up. We had a deal that I could move in with him and stay until I graduate. No, I can't tell his girlfriend without putting my physical safety on the line, even secret attempts. My father is purging the apartment and my room when I'm gone so anything for her to find wouldn't work nor would something that stinks immediately. Yes, my dad's a dick, it's a long established fact. Edit 2 Some of you guys don't seem to remember what subreddit we're on. Yes I'm being petty, that's sort of the point. Pregnancy test under the bin bag in the bin. If you can find a positive one all the better. Slices of lemon under the bottom drawers of dressers. As they decompose, they won't stink, but they will attract fruit flies and house flies. And it'll be a massive pain in the ass for them to figure out what's attracting the pests. Spill it twice, once where he can see it and once under the sofa so he constantly cleans the wrong spot and it still fucking stinks. Whole fish behind the air vent. The prawns in the curtain rods would actually look perfectly like a revenge from the bitter ex. I say, go for it, lol. Why mess with tuna juice when milk is an extremely viable option? Spilled milk on carpet that's not cleaned up is horrible. Also do you have access to hunting lures? Animal urine is horrific left unchecked. Edit can't spell. Chop up some raw shrimp and hide it really well. They'll have to move. Drop a green banana behind the fridge. Get loads of live maggots from fishing tackle shop and put them somewhere they won't be seen for a few days. Then he will be inundated with thousands of flies, which in turn will lay more eggs. Take a meat injector and fill is with tuna juice and milk. Poke it into the rug and make sure the padding underneath gets soaked while the top stays dry. Good luck. If they garden, put eggs in the flower beds. If the animals don't get them first, next time they till the soil, they will experience rotten eggs. This will also enrich the soil. Powdered milk brushed into carpets and furniture. Leave an open condom wrapper and women's underwear somewhere he won't see it but she will. Also seal it with leaving lipstick on one of his shirts. Raw chicken in the heat event come on get creative. Steam some riced cauliflower a bit, enough for it to soften slightly. Sprinkle these tiny stink bombs in inconspicuous will rot and that is a stench like no other. Sauce my nine-year-old dropped a piece of steamed cauliflower and it rolled under the baseboard heating so I didn't see it until the smell forced me to find it. It is vile. Have you ever smelled a rotting potato? Drop a few behind the fridge stove as if they accidentally rolled off the counter, to give you plausible deniability. Hide a few more in your shopping bag storage, like they were missed when unpacking groceries. If your father's shoes are also in proximity to either scenario, drop one into the toe of the most expensive pair. It'll take at least a few weeks before they start to smell. A hard-boiled egg with a cracked shell inside a box spring in the bedroom. It will take a couple of weeks to begin to smell it and then even longer to find it. Just posting this so I can remember for later, no other reason. How to make a delayed dead body stink bomb. 1. Get a mason jar with the two-piece lid. 2. Fill said jar with a chicken thigh milk 2 or higher the better right up to the top. 3. 
put on lid tightly place in heating vent. 4. Wait. When the chicken rots it'll cause the milk to curdle expand popping the middle part and setting off your homemade stink bomb. Resulting in the disgusting mixture of soiled milk rotting chicken to overflow out stink like well, a dead body. Salmon liquid is even stronger. I hope you call in in the first few days. Get some crickets from the pet store snake feed. Unleash them in a closet or an air vent. After hiding shrimp, get some of that dough urine and syringe. Inject the urine into the foam surrounding his car doors. And some in the fresh air vent. While you all are amazing taking notes. Use lemons, it takes a while to rot and the fruit flies will find them long before they smell bad enough to draw attention. Heck, you can even disguise the initial citrus smell with cleaning products since you are doing such a good job erasing your presence. Keep a key and when they are both out either mess the place up and move stuff around or leave a set if women's underwear in the bed. Spill some glitter too lol. Can of beef broth. Poke small hole in top of can and leave in back of pantry. Can dog food works even better. If you can find some of his ex's underwear or other clothes, hide that under the mattress or in other places that she might find them. Pull up a bit of carpet in a not conspicuous area and put some wheat seeds or similar under the carpet. Water them really well and then replace the carpet. Hopefully they will sprout and grow through the carpet. Bonus points if you make not noticeable holes for the shoots to sprout through. Also your dad is a major douchebag for kicking his child out so he can get his dick wet. Fuck that guy. Rotting watermelon is the worst smell I've ever been around. It's instant gag inducing. So, one small chunk of watermelon should be enough. Is it a standalone house? If so, don't do any of that, too traceable, and noticeable. Crawl under the house, and try and get roughly under the kitchen dining living area. Punch a few holes in the lid of a TN of cat food, then bury it a few inches under the soil. It will slowly decompose, and let off a stench that would rival Satan's butthole after a Taco Bell daily special. Unfortunately, with us coming into inter, it wouldn't be fully realized until spring-summer. Let a can of cat food expire in a hidden location. It congeals and the smell is extreme and reaches pretty far. Get him on the mailing list for a bunch of porn vendors. A subscription to a gay porn publication delivered to the house would also be hilarious. If you're in the US, he can't legally just kick you out with such a short notice. If you are 18 and have graduated from high school, he must evict you. Legally. In most states, that is a three to six month process. Also, stand up for yourself. If he lays hands on you, call the cops. Get him for domestic abuse. Lastly, never lie for anyone else. When you do, you are part of the problem. Even if you wait till you have left the home, you should let the new GF know the truth. Don't let her be a victim of your asshole dad like you are. Regarding fish. Those hollow metal curtain rods are a great place to store your aging fish. Pop off the end caps and push it down to the middle. Replace end caps with a bit of glue. They'll toss the curtains and still not find the source. Also, take as many light bulbs as possible. Oh, and batteries from everything. Get the never ending beep device too. Shrimp shells in the curtain rods. Milk down the back of the radiator. Put shrimp in the curtain rods. That's the silent killer and winner there. Some people have suggested milk. Milk powder is a better option. Sprinkle some anywhere there's a chance of moisture, specifically sweat bedsheets, pillows, couch, etc. It'll take some time to go rancid, but it will last. I read about a woman that sewed sardines into the hem at the bottom of the curtains of the house her husband got in the divorce. If you go with the tuna juice or any fish liquid, move the couch a little and pour it where the feet go. They won't see anything, but the smell would spread when they sit down on the couch as the air in the cushions gets pushed out. Make sure to get the vents too.